Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. That way you won't miss out on any future content. And if you're returning, welcome back. So it's Sunday. Uh, weather's pretty decent today. I've got three or four hours uh, to be cracking on with stuff. There's a few little jobs I want to be getting on with today. Uh, but before I go into that, um, currently I'm sitting on around 479 subscribers, which I'll tell you what, I'm over the moon with. Um, the support is overwhelming so yeah um back to my point is that once i hit that 500 subscriber mark i will be having another giveaway uh so hopefully that won't be too far away so keep your eyes peeled for that so without further ado uh, let's crack on get out there see what we can get achieved um as always feel free to leave me a comment in the comment section below like these legends did here it's always good to hear from you uh, any input or just basically let me know how things are going so yeah get in touch uh, so yeah let's crack on morning guys um, right first things first um, I'm using a new camera today uh, which I haven't really used before so you'll have to excuse me if the quality of the video is not great or sound uh, after I filmed my last clip last week managed to drop my phone and smash all the lenses uh, that's what I usually use to do all my filming so yeah you'll have to bear with me I want this just getting used to this camera um, right so a couple of jobs I need to do today first things first well actually no I'll do this a bit later but the blanket weed is making its way through the pod and it's blocked it up so I'm going to need to give that a clean out today um, but what I do want to start getting on with is putting these joists up onto the pergola uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do this I might just put them all up uh, in place and then mark from the wall up to where they overhang and mark them because obviously yeah this is like an angle so all these joists are gonna have to be cut down to length just so they come up to the end of the wall there I'm well, not there but up there if you know what I mean so yeah first things first I think I'll get all them up there and yeah we'll go from there right so yeah this is what I mean put them up there now now what I can do is get a straight edge from the wall directly off mark off on each of the beams and that will give me where I need to cut uh, cut the beam I don't know if you can see the back one there I'll tell you what I'll go around and show you I've got a problem over there right so this beam here uh, it's the last but one beam uh, hits that supporting joist so I'm either going to have to trim that one down so it sits flush up here or just miss it out altogether which I might just do that to be honest just get rid of that one because there's one pretty much right next to it there um, yeah I'll cut the rest down uh, get the end ones on Let's see how it looks Okay, so what I've uh, ended up doing is I've marked one, two, three while they were still up on the rafters. Uh, now, if I think I'm right, but these gaps should be pretty much the same um, to give me the natural slope. Well, I hope I'm right anyway, because I'm just about to cut all the, bit, all the ends off. 
and stick them back up and see how it looks from there. Okay, there we go. That's uh, not too bad, if I say so myself. Um, I haven't put this one in properly yet because there's only one bracket there, so uh, the one at the end. Um, yeah, I'm going to miss that one that's clashing with that joist. It's only about another 50, uh, 150 mil, so I'll get these fixed in and move on to the one at the back. Right then, there we go. Uh, it doesn't look too bad, to be honest. I'm quite happy with that. Um, excuse the dog, is going nuts again. Uh, I haven't been able to get any fixings in those three there because I can't reach with them. All the ponds full still. So once I've emptied it, I'll get the ladders up there, fix them ones down. Still need to paint the ends, which I'll do in a minute. Uh, those brackets there, where there was going to be a beam, obviously it's colliding with that cross beam there, so I'm just going to take them brackets out. That's fine, that one is. I'll just get a piece of polycarb a little bit wider. So, yeah, happy with that. Another job ticked off the list. Next job then is to get some braces in the corners there. Still haven't done that. Two at the back there, two at the back, one there. So got plenty of off cuts over there. So yeah, I'll uh, have a crack at that. And there we go. That's all fixed in place. Got my corner braces in. down the bottom and one up that corner so yeah doesn't look too bad uh, ready for the polycarb sheets and I've got this area clear again so my temporary pool can go there um, I really don't know what the weather's doing to be honest some people say it's going to go well cold again. Others say that spring is coming. So I don't really know when to move my fish over and whether to hold off till say the end of March. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. One other job that I do want to do today. I've noticed a lot of people doing their aces. I've got two there and a dead one there. So while I'm out here, I'm gonna repop these two. They've been neglected over the last uh, 12 months. But they look like they're starting to bud, so yeah. I'm gonna get these uh, repotted. There we go. That didn't take long. Like I say, there's some uh, buds starting to come out on this one there, so. As everyone else is messing around with their aces, I thought this is probably the best time to be repotting them and hopefully they'll do a lot better in those big pots. We'll see. What I remember guys, um, I'm going to be putting my two in water returns, uh, one down there somewhere, um, one over, over here coming from this side of the filter house probably down there somewhere um, I'm going to be running two inch pipe so what uh, size core drill do I need um, I know it's obviously going to have to be a little bit slightly over two inches but um, obviously I don't want it to be too big a hole if you know what I mean the core drills aren't are quite expensive so if anyone's done a drill to two inch hole through a block wall uh, what size core drill did you use? If you can let me know, that would be sound. Uh, moving on, um, an electrician's going to be here in the next two or three weeks, hopefully, to get all this wired in. And I also need to sort my door out for here. Um, so that'll be a job for me to do over the next couple of weeks. 
um, and obviously I need to check out the weather to see as when, as and when I set my temperature port up. So last job for the day I think is to go and clean out that easy pod. There we go. That's how the pod should be running. Um, one of them here. I've still got to replace this if you remember. This split during the uh, cold snap that we had. But I just remembered I've got one of these. I'm wondering whether the uh, one of these be a direct replacement for that. I think it might just be. So let's have a look. Well, that one goes on there, but for some reason I don't want to go on there. Never mind. I'll just order a new one from uh, Finches. So it's worth a try anyway. So, yeah, uh, I'll get one of them ordered. We should be an up and down today. But, yeah, I think I'm going to call it today. Glad I've got all that lot on. Looks pretty smart now. So, once the pond's empty, I will not be able to get the ladders in there and get the pipe carb on. I'll leave it there. Okay, we'll leave it there for this one, guys. Uh, got a little bit more achieved today. Uh, hopefully this weather holds out now. Um, I know some people are saying we're out doing another cold snap, but it feels like spring is here. Uh, hopefully it is, and I can get that temporary pool set up, get the fish in their temporary home, empty the pond, and start getting onto the business end of this build. Uh, really looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, so once again, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. And until next time, thanks for watching.